On fist bump? I don't fist bump people like you, man. EDP445. You know him, you used to love him, and now you probably look at him in disgust after the 2021 cupcake incident. That is, if you weren't already disgusted by him before. So I want to tell you about the time I almost shitted on myself at high school. Boom, boom, boom. I make it rain on these bitches! So for those that don't know who EDP445 is and want a quick catch up as to what we are looking at here, this is it. EDP445 was a YouTuber that just uploaded videos of him talking about whatever he wanted and his claim to fame was that he was just very vulgar in his videos and then a lot of the times clips of him would be used for meme purposes and that managed to blow him up in popularity. And as with many popular YouTubers out there, we all know that with great cloud comes great responsibility. That's the line, right? <laughs> Well, with EDP445, that was not the case, as we soon came to find out that he used his platform to talk to underage girls inappropriately. And he didn't do that just one time either. He had already been under fire for this type of thing in the year prior, but many of his fans just let that slide, as the consensus for that situation was that it was just him making weird jokes and acting creepy in the DMs. And for the time being, his reputation was back to being somewhat clean at that time. But everything changed when on the night of April 20th, 2021, this guy in the blue shirt who goes by Chet Goldstein uploaded this video onto his channel where him and this other guy CC unit confront EDP 445 after they had pretended to be a 13 year old girl and had been texting EDP while pretending to be her and then had scheduled a meetup with the YouTuber while they were still pretending to be the 13 year old girl and well we all saw what happened. Well I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake <laughs> and then go back home. So throughout the whole 40 to 50 minute encounter EDP will get questioned as to why he was doing what he was doing and he would even come out and confess a couple of other heinous acts that he did of the same nature that he was being confronted for. The two guys that were confronting him, Chet and CC Unit, would threaten to call the cops during the whole ordeal and EDP would just beg them not to do it and then walk away from the scene once they went ahead and did. So the video comes out and everybody is just, you know, in shock. His subscribers just tank, continuing on from the previous few days of when it was announced that the confrontation video was going to be released. Later that same week on the 25th of April, EDP would preemptively try to save his channel from deletion as he went ahead and removed all of his videos from it, but that would not be enough as his channel would then be terminated just a few days later on the 27th of April, presumably because of that meetup video. And speaking of that video, the channel Chet Goldstein, where it was uploaded onto, that channel ended up also getting terminated as well. And this was presumably because the guy that ran that channel, Chet Goldstein, whose real name is Alex Rosen, he had already had another channel in the past that was terminated, and if you know any Anything about YouTube's terms of service, you know that you can't run another channel if one you've had before had already gone banned. But going back to EDP, the deplatforming of him wouldn't end there, as his Instagram and his cameo cam would also get terminated. And the deletion of his cameo cam would be significant here, as that was one of his main sources of income. EDP, after all of this, would move on to one of his last remaining platforms, Facebook, and drop this announcement video with the caption Breaking news EDP 445 official website coming soon. The movement will continue. Hashtag EDP 445. So, um, just want to let you guys. Guys, no man edp445.com um is coming soon you know that's where i'm gonna be posting all of my um new videos and shit you know over there up on the website you know what i mean um you know continuing to fucking eat that pussy movement yeah i don't know what movement he was talking about i mean it was pretty clear here that he didn't want to bring any attention to his controversy for the facebook followers but then just a few days later he uploaded another video onto his facebook where he called out chet goldstein yes the guy that exposed him edp was calling him out chet goldstein i've seen punk ass bitch made whole ass motherfuckers like yourself come and go there's a fucking video all over the end i'm sorry all over the internet you using racial slurs and shit your credibility is fucked, bro you tried to take down good old eat that pussy 445 my nigga, but guess what mother we still in the flesh the movement will continue these uploads onto facebook wouldn't last long though as his account eventually got removed and for the time being that seemed to have been the end of edp until you came back with this video on a brand new channel on youtube all right what's up with it all you punk ass jealous mother sucking it's your boy, eat that pussy 445. So yeah, EDP started up that new YouTube channel called The Notorious EDP and just uploaded videos of him talking about random stuff. And as you would expect, YouTube wasn't appreciative of EDP trying to return to the platform and they banned them once again. Which actually this one Twitter user, SGT Burb, managed to seemingly catch that ban happen in real time. Oh, but that wouldn't be the end of EDP trying to return to the internet. He decided to debut on this other platform slash website called 3Speak. Don't worry, if you haven't heard of that site, you're not alone. It's just like another video sharing website. But anyway, CDP went on to upload a video onto the site and it was one that I don't think many of us would have expected him to make. Fourth of July cupcakes. 
And of course the three speak website got wind of this and banned him off there as well. As EDP's deep platforming throughout the internet continued to take effect, he knew that he had to find other ways to make money. So he would go out and try to work at like low key jobs where less people would be able to recognize him. Like for example he seemed to have had a stint as a Lyft driver and people eventually found out about it as photos of him driving for the passengers came out. The company was told of his presence and situation surrounding him and just as anybody would have expected they had to let him go from there as well. The same thing would reportedly happen at other jobs that he was supposedly partaking in like Grubhub and Uber Eats. A Reddit post even came out saying that he had tried to apply to Chuck E. Cheese as well. Personally I don't think that one is true but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Now throughout the rest of 2021 his new jobs wouldn't be the only things apparently getting taken away from him. His places to live at were starting to become an issue for him as well. Ever since the original video came out of him getting exposed, the place where he was living at was getting plenty of calls about him and then he got evicted because of it. As he moved from place to place throughout the year, people would figure out where he was trying to stay at, call up the place and eventually get him kicked out. With all of these hefty inconveniences, it was no surprise to find out that EDP, whose real name was Brian Moreland, went ahead and tried to change his name. And from the looks of it, it seems to have been able to go through successfully as we are now apparently talking about the man, Day Yon Scott Wilson Eason. This along with EDP's attempt to continue living life was well documented in his Sunny V2 video, in which it covers how EDP has been trying to hold himself up. That same video would even state that EDP could have possibly been in jail, as a couple of sources came out saying that the man himself was locked up. In late October, a YouTuber by the name of Matt Simon seemed confident that EDP had been arrested, yet provided no evidence or reason for the arrest. EDP has been arrested. So the third time I picked up, uh, I was like, you know, hello, and it said, uh, this is uh, the Henderson, Nevada, uh, detention center inmate for for Brian Moreland would like to receive the, the call. This didn't seem to come out to be true though as there was never really any solid evidence of this and EDP would even somewhat address the statements on another Instagram account that he created with this post saying, Yo Felipe, what's up with that thousand dollars you still owe me from the time I bailed you out of jail? Tell the people about that shit instead of spreading lies about me. EDP would then try to return to the internet once again, this time via a live streaming site called Big O. In the short time that he was on that platform, the content pertaining it was just him mostly getting disrespected via the chat and having viewers call into the stream to have some conversations with him. Like, you can find some bad bitches on here too, bro. You can find some bad bitches. Listen, man, I'm cool on that bullshit. I'm flying solo, nigga, from now on, man. So you don't want bitches, but you want kids? Block him. He's gone. Get him out. You <laughs> bad, bad ass, you big ass bitch. Just don't make that ass fuck up. Bitch, you kid head ass bitch. Bitch, you like touching on little kids. Bitch, you want a cupcake? Bitch, you want a cupcake face next to big ass bitch. People would see EDP's attempt at an internet comeback and then call it out, with one of the most notable callouts here being a video from Critical. This man will literally use anything that has video sharing live streaming capabilities. I wouldn't be surprised if, if he gets banned on Bigo. The attention brought to all of this would eventually have Bigo look into the situation and for the time being, it seems like his account is still up on the site, but he hasn't streamed on it since then. It's not confirmed as to what exactly is going on with EDP's Bigo account, but many people seem to agree with this Reddit comment here that stated, his account is still there, but he hasn't been online in five days. My theory is that Big O didn't ban him, but they revoked his ability to stream, so his account became essentially worthless and he deleted the app. And also brought up another point stating, he also unfollowed James slash CVC, pronounced James, on Instagram and Big O. James was the one who introduced EDP to Big O and he was a quote unquote host, meaning he was somewhat of an employee at Big O. I'm guessing there was some sort of falling out between James and EDP. Later on, at around Super Bowl time in February 2022, this TikTok account, at EDP445TheOG, started going viral after video videos of EDP speaking were uploaded on it. At first glance, it appeared that EDP was in control of that account and making videos for the TikTok platform, but then he came out and said that it wasn't actually him, and then everyone started to realize that the TikToks posted to that account were just re-uploads of videos from his Instagram. I'm sitting back chilling and shit, right? And uh, a friend of mine sends me an article telling me that apparently after the Super Bowl, um, I went viral on TikTok and I'm sitting back here trying to tell this motherfucker, man, I have never in my life had a goddamn TikTok account before. But then EDP actually did make a TikTok account that now goes under the username, the OG EDP. So I'm still testing out the waters here on TikTok. Um, you know, still trying to figure out what I can and cannot fucking say, you know, because, uh, this app is really, um, you know, for lack of a better word, strict. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? Fucking ridiculous. He now just uploads random videos onto his TikTok, talking about whatever he feels like, similar to what he was doing before on YouTube. And it also seems like he wants to move on from the cupcake situation, as his comment sections on TikTok are completely disabled. Oh, and as for what has happened to that new Instagram that he had made, that account got banned once again. And now, just very recently, EDP has announced that his website, edp445.com, has finally gone up. So, we finally got the website up. I'll try to do live streaming. Obviously, I'm going to upload videos. There's going to be a place for shout outs. Um, we're going to have uh, merchandise and gear. Uh, that's going to be a little bit later on down the road, more so this summer. You know what I mean? Um, it's going to be a great time, man. We're going to have a you know, a fucking blast on that website, man. The website at the moment has a couple of videos up, which are very explicit, and the site also seems to be the new home for his cameo type video shoutouts. When you click on that part of the site, it says that the price for the custom shoutout has been reduced to $25 from the previous 50, which doesn't really make sense because the site is new, unless if he's referring to when he had an actual cameo account and it was priced at $50 back then. But yeah, he has that in a YouTube upload section where he posted other people's videos of him. And of course, the coming soon section where he says that live streams of him will arrive to the site. The website even has a comment section which for the time being is full of positive comments towards EDP. It's probably likely that the negative comments are getting removed from the site as they get posted, but we do see as some very notable people have already commented on the site like Jeffrey Epstein, Chris Griffin, Chad Goldstein, and the FBI. So yeah, with all of this, that's essentially where EDP 445 is at now. He's still trying to have an online career where he can monetize his presence, and then we have a couple of detractors out there that are trying to make EDP pay for his actions by having him get his platforms removed, have jobs fire him, and letting landlords know of the dangers that could come out of EDP being a tenant. It's even gotten to the point where even if EDP meets someone who he thinks is a fan of him and takes a picture with him, he apparently tells that person to now reveal where he is. He also now continues to be a living meme, but this time not for the right reasons, as he is now associated with just being a menace to society. Ah! And as for the two other people that were involved in catching EDP in the act, they have both continued to post onto their own channels, with Chad Goldstein having to use a new one called Ya Boy JDQ and CC Unit running the CC Unit channel. Both channels are dedicated to exposing predators and are each doing well respectively. And that's where we're at with pretty much everything that's happened since the EDP 445 cupcake incident. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in another one.